Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this look, the simple classic French tip. And a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to do this look, so finally here it is. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So I hope you guys enjoy this manicure and let me know what you think. Okay, so what I do, I first um, prep my nail with my nail strengthener and I go about halfway up the nail and um, just like as if you would do when I apply the white okay so you're gonna wanna do two coats of strengthener just halfway up the nail. What you're gonna wanna do is pretty much make your French tip and this doesn't have to be perfect uh -oh. so what you wanna do is uh, make your French tip and this doesn't have to be perfect okay it can be kind of messy looking, not even. Obviously, look at how crisp these lines are, and look at this one. So, we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to do a second coat. Now, what you want to do is get your little cap of acetone ready. Just take the lid off of your acetone and pour a little bit in there. And then you're going to take your brush, okay? And um, also, you're going to want one of these guys to just wipe your brush on every so often when you feel like it's getting a little cloudy or dirty from that white paint, okay? So, I'm going to begin with arching my nail. And I always start going in the center first making that center um, a little bit deeper, the line deeper, of course, and then having the edges go down on the nail so it looks natural. And I am working on my left hand, so it's a little bit shaky. But you can see just that that little bit of a difference makes such a big difference on the nail. Um, you know, a brush and acetone can do so many good tricks for your nails. Not only that, but it's great to clean the nails up, too. So not only with your French tips, but any manicure that you do. And um, so... Very simple right there. Now what I'm going to do is put my cotton candy in and my top coat and I will show you guys that in just one second. So now I'm applying the cotton candy. Paying attention to the edges, to the white. You don't want to get the cotton candy on the white part. And if you do, in this case, it's not a big deal because usually your white is already dry enough so that you can, if you get a little bit on there, you can kind of like pat it off. Okay, and now I'm going to let this dry and put my top coat on. Here it is, you guys, the final look. This was the pinky that I did, and you could see that it just looks wonderful. I mean, with the brush and the acetone, you can get a really beautiful arch. So I hope you guys like this tutorial, and please leave comments. Let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. I will be seeing you guys soon. Bye.